Welcome. This is Apostolic Charge with Apostle Babala. Stay charged to be in charge. The health of the anointed is as important as the anointing. Elisha died of sickness despite the unction in his body. Welcome to Apostolic Charge broadcast on Agent Television. My name is Lawrence Bamelo. The Holy Spirit told me as part of a training before I enter ministry. He said, son, your health is as important as the anointing. You know, for every serious minister of God or even a child of God, the first thing you chase is the anointing. Because if you don't have anointing, <laughs> I don't see how you want to destroy the yoke of people. You want to say by the reason of the anointing, yokes are destroyed. However, the Holy Spirit says, son, as you are chasing the anointing, <laughs> chasing the anointing, uh, also chase wisdom. So you will not overlabor your physical body while you are giving focus only to your spirit. It is good to balance both. You watch your spirit, you watch your physical body. You are tripartite. You are a product of a three being. Your body, your spirit, and then your soul. See, your body is a physical case that hosts both your spirit and your soul. Your soul is a processing unit that relates with your physical body and also with your spirit man. The spirit realm, the Holy Spirit said, does hear the Lord, I had somebody right now. As you are saying, does hear the Lord right now, your physical body must relate. Whether people are awake, whether people are sleeping, whether people are jumping, whether people are ready for prophecy that time or whatever. You must understand how to combine your spirit, your soul and your body together. Don't overlabor your body. Take care of your health. Elisha is a good example. Elisha was an anointed man that carried double portion of the spirit of Elijah. Elisha healed a lot of people. God wrought several wonders through the hand of Elisha. In fact, it was recorded that there are more miracles that happened through the ministry of Elisha than the ministry of Elijah. However, this man fell sick. And the Bible says, Elisha was sick unto the point of death. And Elisha died. You know what struck me most? The anointing was still in his body, even in his grave. A lot of people would have wondered how will such an anointed man died of sickness? You know what happened? There are times when you must take care of your health. Rest like you don't work. Even if you are a businessman, have a time you rest. See, with or without you, that business will still run if you are not alive. God also told me, he said, son, walk like you don't rest and rest like you don't walk. Don't joke with your health. You have only one life to live. Please watch your health. There is a limit that your human ability can go. You need divine health as much as you need physical health. I will tell you more in the next broadcast how to handle that. However, the first thing you need in business for you to live long is to have Jesus. Jesus is your first immunity. Jesus can heal you and can rescue you from any sickness. If you are sick in your body, you can stretch forth your faith right now as I pray with you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for as many of you that you are believing God for any form of healing by the mantle of the Holy Ghost. I ask that sickness be arrested now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. You are delivered. You will no longer be a slave and a captive of this bondage called sickness. Whatever the sickness look like, by the force of the apostolic grace, it die from the root. You are delivered. Thank you, Father, because you will return back with your testimony. However, look at me. This prophecy can find fulfillment fast if you will let Jesus be the Lord and the owner of your life. If you want Jesus Christ to be the controller of your life so that he can watch your health for you, put your right hand on your chest and pray with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge myself helpless, a sinner. I am in need of your help. I have lived a life that pleased me. I am calling for your help. Show me mercy. Forgive me my sin and wipe my tears away. I thank you because you have answered me. I receive your new life as I give you my whole life. I thank you because you have answered me. In Jesus' name, 
have prayed. I will see you in the next broadcast, but by then, you will be sharing your testimony of your miracle healing. If you believe it, say a loud amen. I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AGN TV, and follow me on all the social media network at Apostle Bamelo and at Apostolic Grace Network Africa. And with so much joy, I am announcing to you the African Marathon Praise 2020 from the Apostolic Grace Network Africa. It's coming up December 5, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Union Baptist Cathedral, Oshobu, Oshun State, Nigeria. You can hook up on AGN TV, Born to Praise Africa as well for live broadcast. As we raise altar of sacrifice of praise to heaven, miracles will begin to happen and you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep it a date. God bless you. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. This broadcast was brought to you by the continuous giving of friends and partners of Apostolic Grace Network Africa. To join the AGN Air Force, please visit apostolicgracenetwork.org or call 234-708-222-0300. Until next time, God bless you.